Hey boys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Sean Johnson Karimo. We're taking on Australia in uh, this this Four Nations clash. Previously getting a comfortable win over England. So Australia definitely should be a, a more difficult competition, I'd say. As you look at their back line, a bit, a bit different. Uh, Chambers and Croker in the center. Pretty standard Haas pairing. Decent, decent back row. Front row, pretty standard. And the bench, Shannon Boyd, Adam Reynolds on the bench. Like, I look at that, and I'd probably say overall our team might be a little stronger, but they're, they're pretty tight. We are going to start this game off just on fire. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Sean Johnson, unbelievable. Just splits them through this left side defense and just gets the late, the latest of late offloads to Jordan Kahu here. Who goes over? And who is that? Is that Inglis? It was either Inglis or Mansour there, trying to make a last last ditch tackle, but not not affecting it. That was just unbelievable. I mean, we were in such good form for that England match, and we just started it off just where we left off with this Australian match. I don't know. Just playing with this New Zealand side has been just a lot of fun. They're just uh, just a very good team overall. So it's. It's, uh, it's making my job a lot easier, which is nice. As uh, Australia get a good chance to attack here, they put in <laughs> just 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 in shambles though. Just a little shell shocked maybe Australia coming coming out of this game is another error there. Uh, but that original kick just uh, kicked into the hey, man, called uh, called an offside penalty, and uh, just gave us possession. But the <laughs> bit of bit of nonsense here, a couple of switches to play, ball changing changing across fairly consistently. His car who breaks through a tackle. All you have to do is pass it. I just called for it a touch too late. I wasn't quite in position. Could have been another try, but really good stuff. Car who's playing pretty nicely out on this side. As he tried to sneak that one through, it hits the uh, the front line defense there. Otherwise, it probably would have been a try. We had a couple of chases going through for that. As we make another little break here, and this time, it looks like two of us check is uh, on the wing here. As Inglis is trying to chase him down, it's kind of it's uh, pretty reminiscent of that first try. This time we didn't have to get the special offload. It was just a nice draw and pass. But once again, Inglis coming across trying to make that tackle. Couldn't quite get the job done. Uh, couldn't quite get the job done. As uh, Tulvashek picks up his first try. And we're just continuing our just incredible form. Going 12-0 up in this game. Australia. Just uh, it looks a bit too looks a bit too easy, honestly. Um, but there's a there's a little bit of Overconfidence, maybe a little little mistake at dummy half. We just overran the play slightly as Australia here comes off Isaac Luke right on the melon there, but Australia still the ball, fourth tackle. Looking a little dangerous, but our defense has been pretty rock solid. They've had a few chances on our try line, but like that England game, they just don't look they don't really look like scoring as they put in a nice little grubber, but good stuff there. It looks like Martin to power off the bench comes up with that, so just, uh, just good stuff as a few, uh, few passes strung together here. Thurston goes up for an intercept. It lets, me, <laughs> lets Johnson into the backfield. Dummy's Inglis. We actually had some support there, so the dummy the dummy paid off and goes straight through for another try. As you see, who is this? Kenny Dowland left here. We actually had some nice support. So Inglis, he was in two minds. And, you know, Johnson has been setting up other plays all, all day, so probably took the right decision to, to go for the intercept, but... Definitely was going for the trial line. That's three from three. 18 nil up, 35 minutes into this game. We are just... This is perfect. Absolutely perfect start. Unbelievable. As uh, looking for more attack, and <laughs> it's going to be picked up first. And it is so reminiscent of that England game. You know, it was looking pretty dangerous again. It was a nice bit of play. And, you know, we had to throw the, po throw the pass. But Thurston, he reads it nicely. You know, typical JT. Reads the game better than anyone. And he... He picks the ball off. It could have been a try. It could have been our fourth try, honestly. If Thurston didn't get that, I would say it's a try for us. But unfortunately, it's uh, it's going to be exactly the same as the England game, uh, pretty much. I mean, they didn't really look like scoring, and we honestly just dominated them. Our defense has been solid. Our attack has been even better. Uh, just a just a silly silly intercept, I guess. A bit of uh, maybe a slight unlucky there, but we're starting the second half off pretty pretty like how we finished the first half very strongly just attacking i mean the first half it was all down the left this uh this half we decided to sweep over to the right side here 
And we've got, um, who is it, Lewis Brown, Nightingale out here, I think it is. So we've got a couple of decent players. I wouldn't have Lewis Brown in the centres. I said this last game, but he's pretty decent in the game as we do. <laughs> pretty much the exact same play. Alex Glenn again gets it out here. Gets it to Lewis Brown. Can't get the pass away, but looking very dangerous out here. But as you see, 52 minutes gone. Not, uh, not too much has happened as of yet, but a nice... Nice field midfield bomb, and boys are throwing it around. We actually got the bat back. Try to get the offload. Isaac Luger, I think it is, just puts it down. It was actually not a bad little flick pass, but probably a little too much for Luke to handle there. Could have been could have been a pretty slick try if we did score it, though. Australia do get a chance, and they had the numbers there, but a good read by Lewis Brown coming up and shutting it down. As a bomb goes up, and it looks pretty dangerous, but Jason Nightingale, pretty safe under those, takes it comfortably. And 70 minutes gone, still no, still no tries, still no points in this second half, which is pretty surprising. 18-6 at half time, and just, uh, just no team has really uh, got into the groove in the second half. We've probably, probably eased off the gas slightly. Uh, things quite, things aren't quite going to plan. So a couple of minutes left here. Australia looks to, you know, score a, score, score a bit of a consolidation try, but we've got the game wrapped up. It's just. It's just a first half dominance, and Australia just didn't have enough to come back. Is, but we are going to get a chance here. Lewis Brown streets into the backfield, so no points in the second half. Although that could change pretty quickly, as it looks like it might be the last play of the game. Gets it out to Johnson. Huge gap, runs straight through it. Gets it onto Nightingale, and that is classic Johnson at his finest, reminiscent of the first half. This time we give Nightingale a chance to score. Alex Glunt, <laughs> Alex Johnston. Uh, pretty much does the same what all the other guys did. Try to make the tackle. Couldn't quite get the job down. So, this has just been slaughter, honestly. Australia did score a try, but that was just a bit of a fluky intercept. Other than that, we've just been outstanding as we push that one across the face. And that is a huge win as the boys celebrate once again. Getting a little carried away, but, you know, they're in good form. So, I'll, they might as well celebrate. 22-6. 20, so, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.